Hello, this is Cedar Workshop again. Thought I'd give a quick update of uh, my mount I made from recycled uh, pieces of metal around my workshop. As I had shown earlier, this mount here is from one of those TV stands that you would uh, put your TV on and mount to the wall. And what I've done is I've used a shaft, a keyed shaft in the inside here. Turn it so you can kind of see the right here, the little notch. And then I've got this part here, it's got an Allen key, and you, you wind it in and it gets stuck in that little notch to keep it from getting out. So, anyway, this is uh, just thought I'd show you how I did it. I've got this one up top here, and that keeps it from the mountain jumping out. And then you got this one here at the bottom, so it just keeps it kind of pinched on. Uh, the metal here was actually very hard to drill through. I had to use uh, uh, some oil and uh, just go slow. But anyway, so I had taken it up to the cabin and went to install it. And I, my neighbors were laughing at me when I had my ice cream bucket over here. So... So, this is the ice cream bucket that I drilled a hole in the end with, and then I mounted it over the end and did that kind of thing. Except when I was transporting it up to the cabin in the car, packed a little too much stuff in and managed to crack the outside. So, didn't even get the turbine up in the air, and I so-called cowling already cracked. So what I did is I went to uh, our local uh, uh, reuse store, I guess you could call it, and picked up a mixing bowl. I'll just grab it there. All right. And so it's, it almost kind of looks like a dog dish. But they say it's a mixing bowl. And... What I'll do is I'll do a better job at marking the center hole in the end. And then put that right over top, like so. I'll drill a hole in the end there, put it over top. So I guess it was a little bit of a vanity thing, uh, but should work better. I've got... I've managed to find the right drill bit, which is half the battle when you have two workshops. So I'm gonna try it with with this. I was okay. I'm gonna use this one inch hole saw uh, to drill the hole in the end to mount over the where the threads go on and the blades. Swing this around, smash everything in the shop. So it'll go on right here. And what I'll do is when it comes around, I'll snug it again with zap straps, or maybe if I have enough, I can secure it. Here you can see the standoffs that I got. The metal standoffs. <coughs> got a bit of a cold today, so. You can see kind of the setup. Now my only concern is that the keyed shaft is pretty heavy. I, I really don't know how much it weighs, but I'd say it's a good 10 pounds because it's solid uh, metal. It's As you can see, it's like it's four feet long one inch thick. That's pretty heavy and my concern is if I have too much top weight on top of my tower uh, that could spell some trouble. Now the uh, this part here what I'll do is I'll mount uh, the fin around here to this. I need to come out a little bit more. This is just um, 
you know, when you buy those portable table saws and you can get an optional leg. Well, this is what they are. If you can see here. So you would make, you get four of these and you would, would make like uh, legs and you mount those onto your portable table saw. Well, I found these around at our cabin. I thought I'd make out of that. That's the plan. <clears throat> so, but the only difficulty is I kind of have to put it together and then disassemble it so it fits in my vehicle to transport up. In the meanwhile, I think I might just look around, see if I can find some one inch uh, outside diameter, uh, maybe aluminum pole. I mean, aluminum's not too strong, but um, anyway. Oh, I'll just see how it goes. And last thing I want is this thing to spin around and then come off when it's up in the air. Anyway, that's all for now. Hopefully I'll have an update in a couple of days.